Yeah, this this is this is money, 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 money. Uh. Yeah, this time is for the money, money. My tummy rumbling on the humble, but you finna get the. Welcome to Jovic TV. Today, Jovic TV is at Bramfontein for the NetBank Unlock Me conversation with the youth. Stay with us as we find out on how you can unlock your money pillar, potential pillar, and lifestyle pillar. Like door to door, I know you've been a fan. I mean, I know you've been a fiend. In fact, I know just what you need. But where my money, money, pushing mad cold with the business, been had dope. So today, that's what we gathered here for in really unpacking the relationship that youth have with their money, but understanding how it is that financial institutions like NetBank are actually looking to address many of the challenges and pressures that they face. Unlocking the lifestyle opportunity. A trip to Thailand is always great, but how do you save for it? How do you ensure that you allow your money to guarantee you a quality lifestyle that you want to deserve? Everybody wants financial or uh, opportunities as well. So opening up a business, meeting up with the right contacts, keeping your ducks in a row and paying your taxes, even if SARS has a shortfall. How do you ensure that you approach a financial institution that's actually able to help you with this? And of course, most importantly, potential. All of us have dreams and desires about serving and fulfilling a purpose beyond us here in the world. And sometimes that can be unlocked by ensuring that you have a ground and solid education base or upskilling yourself with certain talents that you're able to unleash. So we partnered with a digital jobs agency, for example, um, and they're connected to our platform via an API. So our customers through that platform can now look for jobs. Mm -hmm. We also partnered with another uh, fintech who, uh, which is called Grades Match, which uh, if you enter your grades in there, it can give you advice on what types of courses you might be well suited at by, with, because many young people are just confused about what to do. On the, on the lifestyle side, we're partnering with many providers of these, of these quick deals that we're talking about. So, so we um, essentially take the point of view that our job is to find out what are the needs of young people. My biggest money mistake at 25 was uh, thinking that you arrive, but not realizing that money is dynamic. I'll explain. Um, I was married, two kids, comfortable home, sports car, overseas travel, what have you, until my divorce. And um, I didn't realize he was rich. <laughs> he wasn't rich. <laughs> so uh, I would say to my 25-year-old self, baby girl, check yourself, okay? Check yourself in the absence of that job, in the absence of that husband, in the absence of that inheritance. You know, it's always changing. And have I positioned myself at any point in time to be an income generating asset? You're young, you're dynamic, you're hardworking as a digital entrepreneur, you're also a student. How do you actually define what before we talk about the other challenges that you actually have when it comes to money management? I think my definition of wealth is being comfortable and making sure that my children and my grandchildren are taken care of. Well, um, being in business, I've learned that it's very, very important to save even the little money that you are getting, be it you are getting a thousand rand a month from a waitressing job or whatever, it's very important to save and it's also important to educate yourself on how to invest your money, um, especially when you get to a point where you are um, comfortable enough to be investing because you're trying to build wealth for yourself and I think it's also important to to educate yourself on things such as um, how to pay tax and and different opportunities out there in terms of how to benefit, be it with a banking institution, how you can ex earn interest from various methods of saving your money and investing your money. Ultimately, we need to walk away here feeling empowered and that we are in charge of our money story. How did you work around those challenges of your debt or credit applications being declined, um, not having the necessary uh, surety to back you up, uh, and sourcing additional solutions? So, so what were the money alternatives that you had to see? So I think for us, especially for the business, um, it was equity. Um, debt is actually always the cheapest form of financing. But because we couldn't afford debt from a security perspective, we had to resolve to or resolve to, to equity. Um, and I think our business networks also play a, a vital, vital role um, to the extent that you're able to go to somebody that you've known for a long time, someone who believes in you and is able to, to actually give you financing. I'll give you a simple example. My first ever investor actually found out two years after investing in the business what the business actually does. Whoa. Due diligence there? Nothing. So what happens when you roll with rich people. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Be responsible in your journey because the entrepreneur's journey is actually the most selfless journey 
Why? Because you come last. If you have people that work with you or work for you, it's important that their needs are put first so that they can put your needs first and propel your business. Blow for blow, don't hold your breath. Line for line, my name. I'm probably the best, the best. They quote the goat, just check the net. Kill the swag, I'm fashionably late. That's fresh to death. Well, I have unlocked myself. I've learned how to save, invest, and do it myself because no one's gonna do it for me. Kusukaika Jobek TV, Crowns Online. You need that paper, paper. Check the savings, baby. Don't hate the paper, hate the pay. Don't hate the player, hate the play Don't hate the game, I hate the game I think outside the box like David Blaine Brainstorming ideas as I make it rain I wanna hear nothing when I come through to collect Get my money, money I'm over